recording. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we've just done is we have gone to Maine and we have dragged in to Maine from the markup palette, we in, dragged in GIS map. And by virtue of that, if we go look at Maine, when we scroll down, we will see that it's now a GIS model. Okay, by adding that GIS map, it actually changes the settings of this model to know how to use GIS functionality. Are we okay with that? Okay, next, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we are going to go to double click on this map, okay? So I'm gonna pull this here, we're gonna double click on it. Okay, now double clicking on it should yield a box in the upper left. Do you see yonder box? Okay. Okay. In the box, I would like you to enter the following. Okay? I'd like you to enter Sydney, Australia. Okay? Um, and I'd like you to select region. Region. Okay? Do you see that? And I'd like you to press this search button. Okay? Yes. Sure. Um, sure, the, the only problem is I need to see, what I'll do is I'll expand it and I will try to, um, Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. You're saying, because it's yeah. like this. Okay, yeah. As it turns out, I've decided to try this today. Um, uh, the, I can only see a fraction of the screen myself, so I'm gonna have to use what's up on the screen. So, um, something along these lines. So, I've searched, and when you, when you search in that way, ladies and gentlemen, there should be another uh, results of that search that become visible in a separate window, um, GIS search results window. Do you, do you see them up here in mine? Okay. Now, the problem is I can't read what that says. Um, so, I'm, I'm at a somewhat of a disadvantage um, not being able to read what my model is saying. Um, so, let me go put on my distance glasses here, okay? Um, Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to go, oh gosh, now, now I'm in real pickle. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, the problem is I'm trying to keep it high resolution for you, but that means I can't see all of it because it, there's an incompatibility there. Um, otherwise, I'll have to switch it to a lower resolution. Okay, so the full name uh, is there, and then I'd like to go and um, and I'd like to, Right, right click and choose uh, convert to GIS points or region here. Okay, so if you go up here and you right click, there should be convert to GIS points or region. Do you see that? Yeah. See or not? Yes. Okay, see. Good. Okay, I'd like you to choose that. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, You'll notice now the color of that has changed to gold. Do you see that? Okay. Um, okay, so next, ladies and gentlemen. Um, right. Um, I would like to go here and, again, double click on the map. Okay, double click on the map. And you may have to double click twice, and you can actually scroll round. Do you see scrolling round? So, so you can actually drag it. I should say pan around in the map. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. uh, and I'd like you, ladies and gentlemen, 
to zoom in onto the map, okay? Um, so you can zoom, if, 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 if you folks are um, unfamiliar or you don't have a, have, a mouse, uh, have a mouse, you can do plus key. So basically shift in, in, as needed to enter a plus, it will zoom you in, okay? Here you go. And you'll notice that as I zoom in, you'll see something about your fair city. What do you see about it? Sorry? It's, it's highlighted, do you see that? Okay, so its borders are hi highlighted, eh? So this is the region that we said convert to region, eh? Do you understand what I'm saying? So this is the region that's highlighted that we had, we had selected. Okay, now I'd like you to zoom it so that nearly fills the screen. And what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna make this GIS map a bit larger. I, I actually double clicked on it and I sort of dragged it here. I'm gonna make it larger so that it, um, it, 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 it'll be a little bit more um, fulsome in experience, okay? Um, Okay, and now I'm gonna go back into this in a way that allows me to whoop, to drag it. It's it's a little bit finicky. You have to sometimes double click on it to get in this mode where you can drag it around. And then, you know, if you want to enlarge it, you have to click, I think, once or twice on it to be able to drag it. It kind of goes between these modes where you can drag the window resize a bit on the one hand, or where you can drag around in it. And I'm, I'm hoping you could drag her on in it. So here I am scrolling it in. And, and uh, you know, as I said at first, we learn something every day. And, um, and I didn't know that Sydney somehow extends up to Katoomba. Um, but that's, that's remarkable. Um, that's, that's amazing. Sorry? It's greatest. It's greatest? Oh, greater Sydney. Okay. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, it's like a um, yeah. Okay, so that's that's great. Um, okay, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so now, I'd like to I'd like to again make sure you're double clicked on the map so you can see this so you can see this uh, box up to the upper left. Okay, and I would like you to search for a point. So there should be a, an option here where it says search for what? Is it search for, so, excuse me, oh, I just screwed that up. Okay, great. I'm going to double click on this again. I'm, I'm sort of centering it here. Okay, come on, double click dragging it around. This should still be highlighted. When I click in here, we want to say point. And I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, clinic. Clinic. Okay? And make sure it's point that's selected. Do you see that? See or not? See. Okay. I'd like you to search. I'm sorry? Yeah. Has, has to be capital C or does it matter? No, I think lowercase c might be okay. I'm not sure though. Okay. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, those are the clinics. Do you see them around, around Sydney, that it knows about around Sydney based on its GIS database? Okay? Now, what I'd like to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to, I would like to, when, when those are selected, you will also see to your, to the, in a window that says um, GIS search, you should see the results of that GIS search. Do you see that? This GIS search? Okay. 
what I'd like to do is to go and select right um okay uh so that's that's good we need to do one thing before we can do this so we'll have to come back to that so we've got those things there i'd actually like to go up to the model as a whole and right click on the model and say new agent type and the agent type will be clinic with a capital C. What did I do? Let me say that again. I go over to the model as a whole, right click, I'm going to say new agent type clinic with a capital C. I'm gonna create a clinic to which these individuals seeking help and quitting smoking will repair. How did I do that? I went to the model as a whole. I right clicked. I said new agent type clinic. Do you see that? Next, I would like to drag in a representation of that clinic. In order to do so, I'd like to go to the palette. Down here, there's a pictures palette. And as Jeff noted in a previous session, Depending on, we're going to choose an icon for the clinic, and depending on your philosophical perspective on healthcare, you may feel one of these is better than another. Okay? So one of them will be a, one of them will be a warehouse, one of them will be a factory, a factory for health, um, and another, ladies and gentlemen, a retail store. Um, and I think I know which of those is favored by the new US administration and the Department of Health and Human Services Secretary, Tom Price. Um, uh, so ladies and gentlemen, we will drag in, without, without taking a stand on this, we will drag in retail store, okay? Retail store, there we go. Do you see that? See or not? Okay, good. So now we have our clinic. And we're gonna put a lot more, <laughs> this is not gonna be the extent of our clinic, believe me. Um, we're gonna add some dynamics to this with discrete event modeling. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so uh, there's a help needed. Who else needs TA help? Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Uh, uh, TA is also help also needed over here. A Annie, are you, okay, are you done there? Okay, uh, if we could get uh, help over here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go back to our main now. Let's remember the main, okay? Go back there, do you still see these highlighted? And I would like you to make sure that you're, that, whoa, Excuse me, oh my gosh. Um, I would like you to make sure that your, um, uh, that your um, uh, search results are still showing, okay? The search results being uh, visible over in, um, within the, the map area here, okay? Um, and my search results are not. Now, one of the tricky things about this GIS interface that you need to be cognizant of is that when it performs a search, um, it tries to search within the visible area first. And if it finds a match there, I think it prefers them and it might not even show results from outside that area by default. So you wanna be sure that the area that you're searching is in fact shown, okay? So I'm going to again search for clinic, just uh, in case some of you need to, to research, and, and this should come up with a set of clinics. Do we see that? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to select, without prejudice, the first 20 such clinics. Okay? Okay. Great. 
the first 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay? So I've just selected those. And next, what I'm going to do is going to right click and and there should be a thing that says create agent at at location do you see that right click on those and there should be something that says create agent at selected elements do you see that and i'd like you to do it you, i'd like you to make sure that you, you choose clinic for the agent to be created because ladies and gentlemen these clinics are not persons but but clinics are you ready for this and I'd like you to click on that. And what's gonna happen is it actually creates agents there. Do you see what's now on the map? What's on the map there? Yeah, these are the, these are the icons we use to represent the clinics. Hmm? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're a lot of the way done through the trickiest user interface elements of this. So I appreciate your close attention to these instructions. They're a little bit finicky, and it helps the TAs a lot that you you do that in a more confined way. Yes, Roberto? In my list, I got a list of veterinary clinics. Well, you could, you could leave them out if you want to. You could leave them out, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not focusing on the details. Uh, you can, if you want, you can choose other clinics. The reason we chose a subset here was for other reasons, but if you want to leave out certain ones, that's great, you know, so that, that they're not appropriate, okay? Um, okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we are going to now repair back from this map. I'd like, you can, you can click outside of the map and I'd like to go over to where those clinics are located, which should be just to the left of the map. Do you, do you see that? Okay. Now, hopefully none of them say veterinary clinic. Um, oh, there is. There's a Mosman. Okay, there's, there's several veterinary clinics. Okay. Um, there's, a, there's also a motor clinic, which will, which will, which will exhibit limited... <laughs> for quitting smoking. Um, okay, so so maybe we'll pare it down, and if you want, you could supplement your this with a, a additional ones. So let's let's get rid of the car clinic, um, the motor clinic, um, and uh, and let's get rid of the um, the clinics for. I, I think denture clinic. We'll leave that out. The dental, the 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 uh, veterinary clinics, will 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 leave them out too. Okay. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to delete those that are vet clinics. And if you want, you could go and select those others that weren't. You could uh, you could supplement your list with those that are not. The point is to have a sub uh, a, a set of clinics that's um, within bounds. Can okay. You select more than one, like clicking some by one. Sorry. To select those. To uh, yeah, you can you can right click uh, on them, or you can select them like this, Roberto. You can oh. select like that. So, in other words, click and drag, click and drag, and you can select a bunch, and then you can right click and delete them. So, Roberto uh, spotted uh, spotted clinics of of questionable medical prowess. <laughs> okay, now if you would like to get more of them, you could double click, you know, here and, and again search for clinic or you can go and view the GIS search results window and, uh, and uh, choose to make use of, of that, okay? I think the GIS search result window is uh, yeah, it should be it should be visible here. Okay, uh, if you want to add more, you can. If you don't want to, you need not. Um, okay, here we are. So I'll I'll add a few more. Um, we're gonna skip the eye clinic. 
Uh, I'll, I'll add a few more here. There's, there's some more medical clinics of hopefully of good repute. Um, there we go. And a few more yet. Uh, okay. Um, uh, okay, we'll leave out the methadone clinic. Um, what is a parade clinic? A uh, super clinic. Okay, coffee clinic we'll leave out. <laughs> Denture ch clinic. Um, that, that would be, okay, medical center? That's great. Okay, maybe maybe do medical center. Um, that that's fine. If 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 I, I'm not particular about this, I just don't want. I don't want a huge number of these. There need to be less than twenty for the PLE version of any law. Many of you are using the uh, the version that's uh, the professional. In which case, you don't actually have to worry about this twenty limit that I'm using. But I've got PLE here. Okay, so here we have a set of clinics, and I'm going to make sure it still fits within my my bounds here. So that's ten. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I, I have a, a few more uh, extra, so I'm going to get rid of those. Um, okay, there we go. Okay, so there are our clinics. Those are now instances of classes, right? Those are instances. They're like individual people, except they're individual clinics here. So now we have two types of agents, clinic and person. And these are each individual persons. Not a population of them yet, but individuals. OK, next, ladies and gentlemen, do you have your clinics? OK, um, your clinics of appropriate quality, uh, suitable for you. Okay, next I'd like you to select those clinics. By the way, you can select them quickly by doing something like this. Okay, and I'd like you to right click on them and I'd like you to do create collection. Do you see that? How did I do that? I went and I, I, I click and I drag with the mouse holding down the, 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 the appropriate button, um, the left button. And now I'm going to right click and I'm going to say create collection. Okay? So again, I selected, I right clicked, create collection. Are people okay with that? Create collection. Okay, now there's a collection that's been created. You should be brought to it. Do you see it? See or not? No, I can't. Okay. I'd like you to name this collection clinic collection. Clinic collection. Come, come. Do you see it? No? Okay. Um, okay, great. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, okay, next. Next, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to add, mm, indeed, um, it's, it's more complicated when I add this into an existing model. Okay, next, I'd like you to go and create a, a third type of, third type of, of item, of agent, called a home, with a capital H-O-M-E. This is not a medical home, but a person's home, okay? Home, capital H-O-M-E. Do you see that? I'd like you to finish. Good or not? Hmm? Okay, home, ladies and gentlemen. And for the home, I would like to pick a representation a suitable representation. If you scroll down in the pictures on the left, I would like you to pick a house. Do you see that? If you, if, so I created a home with a cap, that's a capital. Why is it a capital? It's a yeah, it's a class. It denotes a set of all possible homes or homehood, homeness, right? It denotes, ladies and gentlemen, hearth and home. Okay, capital H, H-O-M-E. Right? 
Next, I went to the palette, down to the area with the pictures, and I'd like to drag a house to the home. You comfortable with that? Who would like a bit more time? Okay. Good or not? Okay, now, we're going to engage in a little bit of, a little bit of finesse here for just a moment, okay? And I'm doing this because I'm adding this into the model later, and I need, I need to, to make it easy, I need to do, to do something that I think should work okay. So back to main. Does anyone want me to upload my model as it currently is? Would that be useful? Okay, so, so I will save here version 15 away. Um, this is version 16, I, but I, I finished version 15. And I'm gonna post it to the, post it to the drive here, here we go. Version 15 is now released. It's, it's, it's uploading, it's done. It's up there, if anyone wants to grab my version 15, you're welcome to do so. Are we okay? Okay, um, we're gonna add some functionality, but let's run this model right now. Let's run it, are we ready? Let's run it with a population, sure, of, of a thousand people. And you'll see something that's a hint of, of, of greatness, but also has some problem. Okay, here we go. What do you see there? What do you see in this model? What are those things that lie before you? Clinics, Clinics indeed. Um, uh, superimposed on a map of Sydney, you can actually go around in that map. You can zoom in if you're so in, in clo inclined. Um, but this is a, a map that, um, that has agents superimposed on that. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. um, okay, now it's, it's actually not zooming in. Uh, there we are, okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So this is something which is actually, um, I'm surprised it's, it's taking that long to render it, but uh, it's actually uh, drawing information from a GIS database as to what routes are different places. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Next, what I'd like you to do is I would like you to do the following. I would like you to go drag in. Do you remember how we create a population in any logic? Do you remember how you do that? How do you do that? Drag in the agent. Yeah, you drag in the agent type. So into main, we're going to drag in home, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to drag in home, and we're going to call it homes. Now, does that by itself make it an agent, the fact that I've dragged this in and I've called it homes? Oh, sorry, does it make it a population? <coughs> what do I still need to do? I need to designate it, ladies and gentlemen, as a what? Population of agents. Population of agents, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're going to make this a population of agents and we are going to make it have an initial number of agents equal to population size, that's the number of people, divided by three. So roughly one home for every three people. Is that okay? Is that okay? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be homes here. Okay, next. I'd like you to run this model and we're going to see something that's going to be unusual. And then we're going to, we're going to fix it, okay? Um, here we go, great. Okay, 
Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to run the model and we're going to see something that's at the same time encouraging and points to some real needs for improvement. Here we are. Where are our homes, ladies and gentlemen? They're all in one spot, stacked to top one another like cordwood. We're going to need to, to distribute those homes throughout the area, okay? Now, Windchill has uh, been a leader in applying GIS functionality in the anti-obesity context uh, for some work with the food environment. And uh, we'll ask him to present this model where he actually reads in the location of certain resources from a database and populates those locations on the map. Um, he also reads in population densities for different areas and can use that information, for example, to distribute people's homes. We're going to do something much simpler here, um, uh, reflecting this, but we'll try to make sure Winchell can, can present, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go to our homes within Maine. Here we are, homes. And we are going to place the agent here at a certain location, okay? So we're going to homes, and associated with homes is an area that says place agent in a certain latitude, longitude, okay? Okay, now, we actually have to be a little bit careful here. Let's first, in order to do this well, in order to do this in the most elegant way, let's first go to home. We're gonna basically be able to set the latitude and longitude here. In order to do this well, the food has arrived. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to go to home, and I'd like you to go to, I'd like you to go to drag in to home a parameter, okay? I have to be careful here. Okay, here we go. Um, we're, we're going to drag into home a parameter, and that parameter is going to be called location, ladies and gentlemen. Location, okay? Um, here we go. And, uh, okay. So, here we go. We're going to this. We're going to drag into home a parameter, and it's going to be called location. Okay. Okay. Now, just just checking here. Uh, so this is location. Windchill. Um, GIS point. I didn't. I, I I'm not seeing it in my notes here. The um, the location uh, uh, parameter. Yeah, yeah, but this, so this needs to be, is it a point, is that it? Um, I'm, I'm just trying to remember the type of this. Um, you, can, you can use location, you can use point, and you can also use the traditional. But you can't say, there's no class called location. It's, it's actually point, I think, is yeah, it? Point. It's point, right? Yeah, P-O-I-N-T, yeah, point. I think that's, that's correct, right? And then you can ask for that latitude and longitude? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, point. Okay, so for home, we chose other um, as the, oh, sorry, should say other as the, as the type. Sorry, I, I screwed up here. It's the type is other uh, and it's a point particular. Okay, so again, parameter in home, call it location. Its type is other. It's not on the standard list. Um, and it's, uh, it's given by point, capital P-O-I-N-T. Is that okay? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're, we're ready, we're just about ready to be released for sustenance. But we have just a little bit more to do. 
Just, just probably another minute or two of work here if things go right. Okay, so let's go to main. Let's go main and let's go back to homes. Do you remember we went in homes and we set initial location to be at latitude longitude? Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Okay. I would like, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you now to go set this so that the latitude is self dot location dot get latitude and the longitude is self dot location get longitude in other words I'm getting from that location parameter for the person I'm assigning there the latitude and longitude for them and then we're going to set a rule for the location parameter, okay? So I'll give you a moment here to catch up. Okay. Okay. Are people ready? Okay. Here, I'll go put it up on the big screen so you can see this. So here we're placing the agent at the specified latitude, longitude, and I'll put it up on the big screen. Here we go. Um, and I'll make it bigger. So this is for latitude, and the next one is for longitude. Okay? Are we ready? Are you ready? Or do you want another minute? Would you like another minute? Okay. Okay. If, it, if anyone wants to go fawn right now, go on. What you can do is you can go now to location. The final thing we have to do is have a rule for what the location is. Here we're setting their latitude and longitude on the location. Now we have to set what the location is. Are you ready for this? This will be Sydney. Okay, this says Sydney 1, Sydney 2, Sydney 3. I'm going to say Sydney. Um, take a look at that one, Sean. Do you want the point of the region? Is it some, some region? Sorry? Do you want the point of the region? The region. Yeah. Um, it's called a multi region in mine. And then get random point inside. Get. Oh, 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 oh. That's weird. Okay, maybe I have to do Sydney 1. Um, okay, sorry. Uh, GIS region dot get random. Okay, this is odd. It should have get random point inside. Uh, get random point inside. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's try this. I don't know why it's not get random point inside. So Winchell, could you check this out? Uh, sure. I mean, it's it's probably need a cascading uh, cascading call. First, we call random region inside and. The yeah, but th the thing is, I mean, I've I've, uh, I've I've done that before. I mean, the question is, why is it? I mean, it may be because yes, it's a super region. Yeah, it's a multiple region. But but why is it even for the region not getting it? Sydney one. Sydney one. Uh, this the normally should work just fine for regions. Uh, Sydney. Here we go. Random it's not get random point inside. It's 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 it just exists. Maybe it's just not really audio completed, but it exists. This function 
Okay, but it's given me a, a couple of, uh, okay, random point inside, not get random point inside. That was the problem. It's random point inside. Sorry, so just do it with Sydney, not Sydney one. Sydney. Okay, I'll, I'll go correct that. It's random point inside, not get random point inside. Okay, random point inside. There we go. Okay, so let me put this up on the big screen here. So that's for the location, the value of the location here. Sydney dot random point inside. What is this Sydney? What is, where, whence did that come? Created. Yeah, we created, remember we right clicked and we said create region? That's the Sydney there. And here we're getting a random point inside of Sydney. Are we okay with that? I'm lost. Okay, well, then signal one of the TAs. Okay, so. The yeah. get latitude function, what does yeah. it do? How does it know which, which range of latitude should it choose? Well, because this is a, this is, it, the location is picked to be a particular point with a latitude and longitude. That's what the thing just did. It picked a random point, and here we're just asking for anywhere latitude. Anywhere in the board, right? No, anywhere in the Sydney. That's why it's Sydney. No, no, the, the first, the initial value that we gave. The initial value of location? Self.location.getLatitude. Yeah, yeah, so that location is this location here, which was set from a random point in Sydney. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, let's run it, and assuming everything works fine, we should be able to go for the break then. Okay? Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, oh, uh, okay. Okay, okay, we do have to do Sydney 1, it looks like. It's not, Winchell, it looks like it's not, yeah. Just to call random region inside, then call random point. Oh, okay, Sydney dot random region inside. Okay, great. Is this the multi-region? Okay, it's a multi-region thing. Okay, Sydney is a multi-region. It's a range of <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's like the greater Pacharu, right? <laughs> Yeah. Not to be confused with the less <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Here we go. Um, here we go. And now what do we see? What do we see now? Clinics and homes, ladies and gentlemen. Clinics and homes. The homes are distributed throughout the environs of Sydney, even to its uppermost reaches. reaches. And the clinics are also distributed. Oddly enough, one of them is as far south as Wollongong. Okay? So we're going to have homes. And the next thing we're going to do is, after the break, we're going to have each of the people have a home picked from one of these homes. Okay? Who needs TA help? TA help? TA? Okay. Could you go back to the client for a second? Sure. Sure. Okay. But otherwise, people can go for a break now. Um, I'd be glad to show, show things here for those who seek to have them. Okay, so for homes, this is what we have. Um, I'm oh, putting. The bracket, the sorry. Okay. Sorry. This is this. We we uh, per Winchell's exceptional as normal help. This should actually the top one. This is for the location. This is for the value of location, and then for latitude of a person and longitude. We're going to take that location and we're going to get the latitude component of it and the longitude component of it. Here we go. Latitude, longitude. Long longitude. Sorry? <laughs> so in short, we're picking a location for a person and then from, from that location, we're extracting the latitude and longitude for them to use. Uh, Winchell, I think, uh, 
You, you got it? Good job. Good job. Okay? Who else needs TA help? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby declare the break.